Hello everybody, this is Brett Spricks, and welcome back to another one of my videos. This is part three of the old-fashioned Autobot team, and this member is Autobot, as well as Fembot, Wheelspin. As you can obviously tell, Wheelspin is a very small motorcycle. Very small, in fact. She rolls very well. You can roll on and off my set, just like any of my other Transformers. Really convenient, actually. Um, she's got some pretty big wheels, handlebars, light, anything you'd expect on a motorcycle. Um, my biggest challenge for this Transformer was definitely keeping it small. You'll see next to a minifigure, it is still a pretty big um, bike, considering it's like as tall as a car. Um, but as I'm sure most of you know, brick-built motorcycles are not the easiest thing. The fact that I had to make it transform just made it all the harder. Stay focused, you camera. Anyway, you'll see there is a little seat in there, so he can, the minifigure can sit in the motorcycle quite easily, actually. It's kind of cool. Just take him and grab him onto the handlebars. Oops, don't fall apart. And boom, set him back. Here's a minifigure on wheel spin and they can roll off into the sunset. Just kidding. Um, wheel spin is, like I said, a fembot, actually. She's the only female of my team. I know it's kind of cliche to make them motorcycles, RC, in Transformers Prime, as well as Michael Bay's second movie, Revenge of the Fallen, motorcycles, as well as other fembots have also been motorcycles, I'm pretty sure. But I just like that aesthetic, and I decided to go with that for this figure. Hopefully the next Fembot is not so cliched. You will see in robot mode that she doesn't look like most Fembots though. Anyway, um, she has good wheels. The, boat, the bike she turns into is actually a World War II bike that they would use obviously in, the war, in battles and whatnot to escape from place to place and deliver messages. So I like to think of Wheelspin as a messenger. Still a fighter, very fierce but not so much into the whole heads-on conflict because she's more into delivering messages and letting the Autobots know what's up. Getting the minifigure off. Oops, Lego again. What can you do? Stick that back on. Yeah, pretty good. Compa for size comparisons, here is wheel spin next to Henry. Very small indeed, considering how small Henry already is. And here is wheel spin and Henry Next to Roadburn, they get progressively bigger from left to right. And here's the minifigure again. I think this came out pretty well. Like I had said in the previous video, I am very meticulous about my sizes of Transformers. I want them to stay minifigure accurate, and I want them to be as size accurate as I can manage at the time. Like I already mentioned, the bike is a good amount bigger than it should be. But compared to the other ones, it's still pretty small, so I still think it stacks up well. That's a pretty cool scene. Maybe I should make that the thumbnail. Anyway, <laughs> off topic. Rolling them off stage. Let's see Wheel Spin transform into her robot mode. To get Wheel Spin into a robot mode, let's just move this minifigure out of the way. It is quite a simple process. I'm going to move her back a little bit. First thing you do is you can take this seat section and move it up to get it out of the way. Then from there, take this wheel and fold it all the way down. These side panels actually become the legs and you'll see these little bits that fold down are the feet. They rotate down and straighten just like that. Do the same with the other one. Ro oop. Rotate down and straighten. Oop, it fell off. Let's fix that. Come on, leg. Don't be a pain. There we go. Anyway, there we go. Legs are very simple, but for a small um, little Transformer, it's hard to make them too complicated. Front section, just like any other LEGO Transformer motorcycle, this section splits and goes all the way out. Before you can do that, the side pipes, the exhaust pipes, these need to be slid out. It's hard to see, my hands are in the way, but they need to be slid out 
and then rotate it up like this to get them out of the way. And now you can split this whole section. These will be the arms. Taking this from here, you can straighten this out. On the side, this wheel section folds in like this, and then you fold the whole thing back. Boom. Now that now her body is complete. Straightening her out, you see she's pretty much done now. What you do from here is rotate these arms. Oh, this back piece likes to fall off a lot. I need to find a tighter piece. These rotate around. Then from there, I got to rotate the forearms around. You can put them down. No, because she ain't going to fly like a plane. She's a motorcycle. And here we have Lego Transformers wheel spin in her robot mode. Wheel spin, I think, is a pretty cool robot mode. I'm really proud of her because her proportions are pretty great, I'd say. Um, she's also quite poseable, as you can see in this thing. Um, the wheel is there. I can't obviously get rid of it because it's not a parts former. Um, but I like to think of it as a shield because it has that circle look and it also has a spike in the middle. I like to think of it as like a weaponized shield for bludgeoning and maybe even self self defense, obviously, but maybe even offense if needed. It still spins, so I kind of like to imagine it spinning while she's blocking. These exhausts rotate onto her shoulders to kind of become like, she has like these pipe shoulder pads, which I think are kind of cool. But they also kind of look like guns, so if you want to think of them as guns, you absolutely can. Um, this whole handlebar section kind of just sits on her back as a backpack. Um, I used to like fold it to the side to make it a shoulder pad, but... I didn't like how it looked, so I stopped doing that. Um, moving her arms down, you'll see her proportions are, what's, like I said, pretty good. She has a big wheel in her waist, her stomach. I like that. I think it's cool because a lot of LEGO motorcycle transformers don't have two legs. A lot of them just have a wheel. Uh, this piece has fallen off so many times. I need to find a better piece. Um, anyway, she has two legs. They are fully poseable. They go all the way forward, all the way back. She has, I guess you could say, a knee. She also has foot movement, just on stud friction, as you can see. Um, moving on, she has this waist articulation. I guess you... Oh, I fell off again. Waist articulation. So she kind of looks down, crunch her chest. Her arms rotate all the way forward, all the way back and so on and so forth. Problem with little transformers on stud friction is they're always pretty fragile. That's always something that you got to deal with, nature of the beast, you know? Anyway, I didn't give her any weapons. I thought she looked cool enough with her shield. Like I said, I like to think of her more as a defensive player in the whole war on Cybertron and Earth. Here he is. Here she is next to her minifigure. Very small indeed. She's not even a hundred pieces, I wouldn't say. Maybe around 50 or 60. Also a very simple build. Hopefully you guys can figure out how it transforms just by looking at its parts. I'd rather you guys didn't copy it, but I'm sure you could if you just looked hard enough. Let's look at her from all angles. Here she is from the side. She has pretty good balance. Oh, I'm gonna figure out to move him. He keeps falling down. Here she is from the back. Here she is from this other side, and here she is from the front again. You'll see, she kind of does have a feminine look to me. She has very skinny legs, and she has this big tailpipe section, which I kind of, I don't know if I consider it hair, but in a way, I guess it could be hair, like a ponytail type thing. She has one little blue one-by-one -one stud. This camera is not very good. It's just my phone, so it's not the best. Um, it's actually a blue one by one translucent. You can't really tell, but it looks kind of black, but it is blue. She has these little golden highlights. I guess I thought they looked cool. I put them down just to give a little more color than just these gray all over. Anyways, let's get on to some comparisons. Here is Wheel Spin next to her two partners that you've seen so far, Henry and Roadburn. 
you'll see she's a little taller than them. Not too tall. There's not really much to compare when they're in vehicle mode, so let's get them to their robot modes. And here they are, all in their robot modes. As I said in the previous video, Henry is the second shortest. Now you see who the real shortest is. Real Spin is very petite. I also like to think of her as very rebellious. She's not a good team member when she doesn't need to be. She may work with you if you get on her good side, but in the end, she would rather send herself off on her own missions and does not take orders too well. I think she plays a pretty good dynamic and looks pretty good with these two. They all kind of have their own style and look to them. I'm not very consistent with my creations. They all look really different, honestly. Um, Henry is a lot bigger than both than her. She's very skinny and very petite, once again, which is where I kind of got this female vibe from her. Putting them the minifigure next to all of them. I'd say they all look pretty cool. Kind of do like a progressional size difference between all of them. Anyways, I have gone on this video for quite a while now. Let's cut it off here. This has been LEGO Transformers Real Spin. If you tune into the next video, I will be covering, once again, the next Autobot of my old-fashioned Autobot team. This has been Brett's Bricks. See you in the next video.